All right, so now we're gonna look at some properties of the exponent. Uh, it's, we've already aware, we're already aware that exponentiation is the process of repeated multiplication. So x to the four means I'm multiplying x with itself four times. Now, what does it mean for an exponent to be a fraction? For example, 25 to the power one half. What does this exponent of one half mean? Let's try to find an intuition for it. We know that x squared is x times x. And x is nothing but x to the power 1. Now observe this relation. 2 splits into two equal branches of value 1 each. Let's look at some more examples. x to the 4 is x squared times x squared. So the 4 splits into 2 and 2. Similarly, x to the 6 is x cubed times x cubed. The relation between the exponent is that 2 is getting split into 1 and 1, 4 into 2 and 2, 6 into 3 and 3, which means they are getting halved. So with this in mind, I can write x to the 1 as x to the half times x to the half. And this gives us a definition for x to the half. It is the number or expression that when multiplied by itself gives us x. So 25 to the half is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. 36 to the half is 6 because 6 times 6 is 36. So basically what is square root is, it means it's an exponent of 1 half. So it's just another notation. For example, x to the 1 third means it's a cube root. x to the 1 seventh means it's the seventh root. x to the 1 fourth means it's the fourth root, etc. So fractional or rational roots, rational exponent, sorry, implies it is a radical expression and it's in the root. Now what about x to the m over n? For example, what does x to the 2 third mean? Now let's look at an important property. What does 2 cubed squared means? You first use this exterior 2, we have 2 cubed times 2 cubed 2 times, where this 2 is coming from the exterior 2. And then using the definition of 2 cubed, we have each of these 2 cubed splits into 3 2's. And the 3 is coming from this exponent right here. So there's a total of 6 2's. So 3 cubed squared is 2 to the 6. And you notice this relation between the exponent is that 2 times 3 is 6. Similarly, x to the 4 cubed becomes x to the 4 times x to the 4 times x to the 4, which becomes 12 copies, and 12 is nothing but 4, plus, 4 times 3. So in general, I have this property, x to the power a times b can be written as x to the a whole to the power b. Yeah, for example, if I have x to, say, 8, I can write this as x squared to the power 4, or x4 to the power 2, both of which are correct. Using this property, I can write x to the 2 thirds as x to the 2 times 1 third or x to the 1 third times 2, which becomes x squared to the 1 third or x 1 third squared or cube root of x squared or square or cube root of x whole squared. So these mean the same thing both of which are equal. Let's look at some of this example. So I write this as 1000, um, let's say, 1 third times 2. Additionally, I notice that 1000 is 10 cubed. So it's 10 cubed to the power, uh, we can skip this step, 10 cubed to the power 2 thirds, multiply becomes 10 cubed to the power 3 times 2 thirds, which is 10 squared, which equals 100. This is 4 squared to the power 3 halves, which is 4 to the power 2 times 3 halves, which is 4 cubed, which is 64. Our 32, we've already seen in the previous example, is negative 2 to the power 5. All of this to the power 3 fifth gives me negative 2 to the 5 times 3 fifth, which is negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8. Now let's look at some more properties. Intuition for negative exponent. 
So we've seen, we already know what whole number exponent means. We saw what fractional exponent means. Let's look at negative exponent. What does x to the negative 2 mean? We observe that x cubed times x squared gives me 5 copies of x. And 5 is 3 plus 2. So obviously there is an, a property that x to the a times x to the b gives me x to the a plus b. Using this, what's x squared times x to the negative 2? Well, that's x to the 0, which is 1. So if I divide both sides by x squared, I get a definition that negative exponent implies reciprocating. So in general, if you have x to the negative a, it becomes 1 divided by x to the a. So you just get rid of the negative sign. Similarly, if you have a fractional power with the negative, negative m over n, it becomes 1 over x to the m over n. Again, caution here, This is these are not equal. You cannot flip the uh, fraction on the power. The properties are summarized here. Uh, you can look at them. You can pick some examples and convince yourself that they make sense. Uh, next video, I will show you some examples.